Okay, so I've got the fourth of the fourth of the four engines that were sent to me for service slash repair cleaning. Um, one of my favorite engines of all time are these Inya four-stroke engines. So this is an Inya 60. It doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. It's a little dirty. It rotates. I probably could run it, but <clears throat> because you know I'm kind of strapped for time. I'm just going to go ahead and tear it down. I've already ordered gaskets for this thing. I'm just going to go ahead and tear it down. Bearings and gaskets are on order. Might as well just go through it. See what we've got here. Before I take this valve cover off, now there are different, slightly different variants of this engine. Now I'll be able to tell if this is an earlier or a later version by the way these screws uh, for the rocker cover attached to the head. If there's a metal bracket that has a central screw, it's an older version. If this head has cast aluminum bosses that those screws screw into, it's a newer head at least. So let's see what we've got. Uh, we've got the older style because this is a steel bracket with the central screw. So that's cool. I like that because these are much easier. They're much nicer. Uh, let's see here. We got good valve action. Let's take this plug out. This gasket didn't just freely come out. I'm not going to mess with it. However, it'll probably come out probably come out in the ultrasonic it doesn't matter I don't usually replace those because they don't usually leak there and if there's leakage up there at least it tells you you've got oil up there getting good lubrication and <clears throat> that's really what's most important actually before I do that let's uh carb is froze up this thing is just flipping and flopping so this whole thing's gonna need to be disassembled I got new intake manifold gaskets and timing cover and front case gaskets on the way from Japan so <clears throat> we're in good shape there but if I ever get lucky and one of these comes off <laughs> like that I save it. Alright. Let's see if these head screws are going to give me any trouble. Okay, so these four screws are loose. Loosened up. I still have to get at that. I'm just going to kind of loosen them up so I can kind of wiggle hopefully this shaft won't give me any trouble My gasket is coming off. Nice. That'll live to be used again. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, there's a little spring here in the middle. I gotta make sure I don't lose that. Oh, okay, my bad. There's two screws holding this bracket on. I forgot. And then there's one more head screw down here. And this is that bracket I was just talking about.
Now we can take these push rods out. They're in great shape. If I'm gonna have anything long enough. To, okay, cool. That is long enough. You know what? I'm gonna see if one of these new wrenches that Blosh gave me fits. Okay. Let's try this. There are many times that these little L's on these hex wrenches could be about an eighth or a quarter of an inch longer and life would be a little bit better, <clears throat> at least for areas like this. So we're about to see what the top of the piston looks like. I have a feeling this is a fairly low runtime engine. My very first Inya, my very first four stroke engine back in 1989 was an Inya 80. Nearly identical to this. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Low runtime engine. Look at that. Raw finger power. So the reveal on the head should be pretty pretty Anticlimactic. Yeah, a little bit of usage there. No biggie. Looks great. So, I mean, this is so nice. I'm not even going to bother dropping these valves. Now, I think there might be a head shim. But if there's one, it's not wanting to come out right now, so <clears throat> we'll leave it. If there's one and it comes out, it'll come out in the ultrasonic and I'll find it. <clears throat> okay, so those of you that are not familiar, there's a huge paper gasket back here, which is kind of meaningless. But I did buy a new one, so they're kind of dumb. I don't know why they do that, but and of course this isn't want to just <clears throat> isn't going to want to just come straight off there. I mean, of all places to put a big paper gasket, <clears throat> an area that's notorious for not getting enough lubrication, and you've got this huge gasket there that really is meaningless. Hell, if I had an Inya, I have plenty. I've had plenty of Inya 60s. I never put a gasket back there, and if I saw a leakage from there, I'd be ecstatic because then you'll know at least that that area is getting lubricated. Let's see how easy this is going to be. <coughs> okay. That's about as far as I'm going to get here without a little bit of heat, or at least a rubber mallet. So the next time I turn this video on, this engine should be completely disassembled and ready for cleaning. Okay, I no sooner had my gloves on, I went out to heat this up and this just kind of pulled right off in my hand. So I figured, what the hell, I'll show it to you now before it's all cleaned up. This is really in good shape. Now this, you know, may look kind of dirty and nasty, but, you know, so what? It's going to be clean. It's going to get cleaned up real well. So, let's see here if these cam followers come straight out. Actually, I'll just push them straight down. And no issue there. <clears throat> this engine is in excellent shape. That's what I'm going to say, <laughs> compared to that 120 anyway. Compared to that 120, this thing's brand new. Alright, I'm probably not going to clean these parts tonight, but because I need to refill my tank, get out that nasty stuff and clean it up a little bit. 
next uh, time I turn this on, you'll probably be seeing nothing but clean parts.